It's a beautiful day. Make it a red stripe day. It's a beautiful day. No, may I have the money? No barkeeper. You keep that. Give me two beer, one cool. Hi, I'm Garth. And I'm your bear bay, Ashley. And welcome to the final episode of Bear Love Season 2. Garth, you can't believe it's the finale? I cannot believe. I mean, the time has just gone by so quickly. Time flies when you're having fun responsibly. That's so true. <laughs> In this Bear Love episode, we'll be discussing how we can drink and live responsibly. Absolutely. And as we wrap up we thought it was important to as they say save the best and most important for last highlighting one of red stripes most important platforms responsible consumption because it's all about living and drinking responsibly i think we can all agree that we had fun this season i learned a lot about red stripe and its initiatives and tasted a lot and i cannot wait to taste I mean, see what the next season has in store for all of us and guard speaking of taste Jermaine we would like, well, I would like a dragon. Guys, what are you having? I'd love a Guinness. Nice, nice. <laughs> well, we all know what Ashley's really here for. I feel like this episode is especially for you. <laughs> well, I mean, we're here to enjoy bear responsibly for the love of bear, Garth. That's true. <laughs> so it's really for me, for you, and for everyone that's watching. Absolutely. And in this final episode, we'll be bringing in Thaisa Williams, communications manager at Red Stripe, to talk more about responsible consumption. And later, we're bringing back Chef Alex from season one, so you know what that means, Garth, to talk about food pairings with Red Stripe products. But Ashley, mm -hmm. what was your favorite part of this season? Um, I think my favorite part would have been learning about how the Red Stripe flavors came out. Mm -hmm. You know, how that process happened. Yeah, I mean, that's a part of what I loved about this season. Mm -hmm. But additionally, for me, it's like seeing the wide range of flavors, yes. right? The wide range of products, mm -hmm. and also how Red Stripe is infused in communities, in our society, that's and the economy, most importantly. That's fact. Seems like we have kind of close to the same top three. And as Garth would have said, this is in fact our very last episode for the season. So we want to not only emphasize the importance of responsible drinking, but also leave some important reminders to keep you until we see you guys again. So Garth, I think we can go back and forth on these pointers, don't it? I'm Absolutely. Yeah, man. So let's start with the fact that in all things, balance is a must. Mm -hmm. Next thing, returning your bottles can earn you cash to cheat and do some good for the environment. That's true. Mm -hmm. And you also have to prioritize self-care. That could be as simple as enjoying a beer <laughs> with friends. <laughs> mm. Nice and cold. Oh, just to perfection. <laughs> and this is Garth's favorite point, and our last point always have a designated driver. Absolutely, because I'm Ashley's designated driver. <laughs> well, except today, because I'm having a Guinness now. But I'm sure that second reminder most Jamaicans won't forget. Go get some money for your empty bottles, people. Remember, you will choose whether you want more mosquito or more money. I don't know the money still. And with that said, <laughs> let's get right into our final interactive poll for the season. The interactive poll question for today is, who was our guest on episode two and what was our topic of discussion? So, like how episode two was my episode, I can answer? No. But give us your responses in the <laughs> comments below. Ever wondered how your favorite brew goes from our factory to your fridge? We want to say it's all by magic, but in truth, a lot of work goes into it. Let's take a ride down the production line. Our brews are made through an intense process behind tightly sealed doors with top secret formulas. And once we're satisfied with the product, it's time to have it bottled. Most of the bottles used in the bottling process are the ones returned by you. Thanks for that, by the way. But what happens to those bottles after you drop them off? First, they're inspected for any defects, no broken bottles allowed. Then they're thoroughly washed and sanitized. After that, they're sent to be filled and the process is quite magical. Empty bottles in, full bottles out. No hitching. Once they're filled and sealed, they're sent down the line for another inspection. Those that pass the quality check are sent to be added to a crate and the others are taken off the line. From the crate, they're loaded onto our trucks and taken to your favorite bars, restaurants, corner stores, supermarkets. Well, you get the idea. The process is an intense one, but this is how we ensure that you have the best taste in every sip. 
Our guest for this segment is Ty Williams, Communications Manager at Red Stripe. So we spoke about responsible drinking for, you know, basically all of this season. That's right. Right? And one of the major points is don't drink while you're hungry. But do we really know why? I'm pretty sure they don't have to wander for too long because Ty has all the answers. And here she is. <laughs> A woman with answers, eh? Well, yes, that. that's right. Look at that. that. Welcome to Beer Love, Ty. Look, thank you for having me, guys. We're, I see you're back behind the bar. Absolutely. We're happy to have you. Thank you. Look, now, can I get you something to drink? Of course. I think I'll have a... Hmm... I'll have a Heineken Zero Zero. All right. Very Light on theme. On theme. Okay. <laughs> So Ty, oh. we hear that you have all the answers. Mm -hmm. What's the question? So the question is, why is it important to eat before you drink? All right, well, not to get too scientific because I'm not a scientist, <laughs> uh, but it really is that it slows down the alcohol being absorbed into your blood. Mm -hmm. So you want to ensure that you're drinking on a full stomach. Okay. And responsible drinking goes a little bit beyond just ensuring that you have a full stomach before you drink. It's about ensuring that you have a designated driver. Nice. So Garth usually takes that up for you guys. Um, but you know once that person has you identify who that person is they know that for the night mm -hmm. they will just be having water or a mocktail or some Heineken zero nice. and they are responsible for getting you home safely then you have to think about the dynamics of you know whether or not you're chugging your drink you don't want to do that you want to sip slowly and you want to space your drinks with water yes. you know so you want to make sure that you are conscious of how you consume alcohol mm -hmm. because we really want people to drink but we want them to do it responsibly definitely a woman with answers <laughs> thank you, thank you. So I'm sure you all heard that. Please eat before the par or link up or make sure that the food is there. Space out your drinks then put a Heineken Zero or water in between and have your designated driver. Remember, drink and live responsibly. Yes. Satai, thank you so much for being and here with thank us. Thank you for having You're me. You're full of so much vibes. I feel like I oh, jeez, I'm here. You hearing them. Like, it's so on brand. It's a very right? plan. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yours. A planting. No, she took care of all of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you for having me. Enjoy the rest of your day. I think I'm going to browse around in your bar. It looks really nice. And get yourself some yes. food. All right. Bye, guys. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> Right, the Red Stripe street food promotion is the perfect time for responsible consumption. And that's why we've brought Chef Alex from season one to talk about some great food pairings with Red Stripe products. Listen, oh, I can't wait. You think you can't wait because I know what you're about to say? I know what you're going to talk about. It's the food. It's the food. Yeah, because Chef Alex are bring me some jerk work. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna bring me some fish. Oh, all right. And hey, here he's your come. jerk work. Thank you very much, here's sir. Here's your roast fish. Oh my. Good. Thank you. Hey, can I make a suggestion? What's Always. that? This will go very good with a red stripe beer. Okay, all right. And for you, mm -hmm. this will go very great with a lemon beer. That sounds good. All right, well, let's put them away. <laughs> After you open them, mm-hmm. All right, enjoy. So I have a quick question for you. While you put these things away, why is it that beer pairs well with pork? Yeah, and the red stripe flavor with fish. All right, you know, first of all, the lime and fish is a very good pairing, so that helps to clean the palate and, you know, let it be smooth or no kill the rawness, you know, of okay. the fish. Oh. But for the pork, the red stripe actually intensify the flavor of the beer and also the flavor of the pork. Is it? Yeah. Man. All right, I'm going to give that a try. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, I'm going to give this a sip. Perfect, Perry. Yo, you know what you're right, no? Trust me, mm -hmm. perfect, Perry. <laughs> and just like that, Ashley, another season of beer love has come to an end. But don't worry, we'll be back on your screens before you know it with more great discussions with the greatest beer. Thanks to all our guests and the team for their support in making this possible. And of course, thank you, our viewers, for tuning in every single week. We couldn't do this without you. And of course, if you've loved this season, like, subscribe, share, and comment. And of course, give us a shout out. Until next time we meet. For the love of bear. Drink and live responsibly. Must be 18 years or older. Hmm? Final chairs, guy. That's right. <laughs>